<laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL Season 49 quarterfinal between Purple Chest and his Dwarf, surprisingly for an elf coach, and Elyod and his vampires. In the booth with me is Kalon and Fymir. Hello. Hello. Hello everybody, here we have two of the top uh, coaches of the CCL, Elliot and uh, Purple Chest, fighting for a spot on the semi-final and today's uh, stream is dedicated to the people of, let's see, Equatorial Guinea, <laughs> which they uh, speak their Spanish, French and Portuguese and I'm pretty sure it's also a dictatorship, so what the hell is going on here? <laughs> <laughs> it's been pretty funny that the random name generator or random country generator keeps on generating these uh, problematic countries. But uh, congratulations to anybody from Equatorial New Guinea who uh, has joined us tonight. Uh, bienvenue. Um, what is it in Spanish? Bienvenidos. Bienvenidos. Yeah. And I don't know. I don't know what it is in Portuguese. Either. Well, there you go. And uh, yeah, looking at these teams, uh, Elliot <laughs> has yeah. uh, bought himself a mercenary thrall and uh, Cheney, so he goes up to 13 players. And mm -hmm. uh, Cheney's, of course, brilliant, especially against dwarves with the claw, but of course, the frenzy is very bad against, uh, you know, the masked guard, so it's going to be tricky to get these hits in and not get hit back. And of course, he has the unbelievable strength 5, edge 5 vampire, yeah. and some other things. Uh, PC has a lovely, efficient guard, mighty blow spam team, like he always does. Indeed. Uh, pretty rowdy of Elliot to throw the uh, vampire up there at the front as well, give him an option to go and smack him as part of his blitz action, but uh, PC is not going to fall for rookie rookie tactics like that. Yes. Um, I mean, yeah. it would be, it would be uh, a lot, a massive investment of uh, dwarfs with guards. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, yeah you can only so get a one guys. day anyway. You can literally only yeah. get a one day. <laughs> so many guys have to get in there to get, a, to get the one D on him. Yeah. Oh! But uh, yeah, pretty lovely. Uh, he's some vamp. He's uh, no, yeah, he he's... could have gotten a two D if he would move uh, one of the guard, you know, between the two vampires. Yes, if he, he did, if he did a six plus dodge, yeah. <clears throat> it was he couldn't get in there at the time, Famer, because there was uh, the uh, protect oh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Back, yeah. Which he also rolled a uh, uh, couldn't take the both down on because it was wrestle. So mm -hmm. um, one yes. KO and two stuns, which I mean honestly that's pretty fucking great uh, as your line of scrimmage can go uh, with this with this team. It's a nasty looking dwarf team. There's a lot of mighty blow hits that came in there. Uh, only one full removal is pretty fantastic out of the four hits. Mm. So yeah, Cheney, quite a lad. He could have a big impact on today. Uh, we'll have to wait and see what happens. Yeah. Um, but yeah, keeping him in the game between him and the Edge 5, Strength 5, Vamp. Um, I mean, those guys together can, can win any game of bubble, really. Um, positioning key, obviously, in a game like this. And we have two masses of positioning um, in uh, in PC and Elliot. So uh, it's a real battle of the Titans, isn't it? Yeah, I thought you were going to say in the commentary booth. But yeah, in PC and Elliot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great start for Elliot. Not a master of rolling dice. <laughs> That's it, that's it, that's the only that. one. That's it. The first block is a uh, double skulls. Yeah. Oof. You know, and now Elliot uh, PC can use the dice set argument because Elliot could say, well, my first roll was double skulls. What are you talking yep. about? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, bear in mind, I mean, he got a reroll on kickoff, right? But um, he only has two rerolls rostered. And uh, yeah, but he was never going to reroll that because it's a loner and he's far too conservative to reroll it. Yeah. Also, Correct. that was a. Uh, 2D into, yeah, into 2D, yes, he mm -hmm. will move the chain, the guy, the wrestler Yeah, because he's strength 4, mm -hmm. the lad. Yep, and uh, Thulian, it's it's called Legends Football League now, but it's it's an absolute disgrace. It's like, they don't pay them anything, and they like, which in America is pretty bad, isn't it? And they like, don't have any health cover and stuff, so like, it's... Uh, not paying them in America, like they don't have cover for the injuries and stuff, like, and so it's absolutely horrendous. There you go. Well, the lingerie league, yeah. I mean, it was bad that there was already a lingerie league, but then if you also add that, it's like, okay, I can't imagine how these uh, ladies what they have to do to earn their money. Yeah, it's it's well, mostly horrific. get hurt is the is the issue. I mean, yeah. but there's a lot of sports like that in America that go on as well. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with the the whole extreme cheerleading thing and how how much 
that like absolutely fucking cripples women every year. Ooh. Wow. Not Demetrius. Wow. That's the leader gun as well. Oh, it's the leader. Oh, and he's... Dapo Dave. fails. Dapo fail. Oh, gosh. Dapo made it worse. Now, maybe, oh. maybe he's thinking, I should have re-rolled that because I could have protected my leader. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, it's a bummer. <laughs> yeah, they have like they wear like hockey helmets or something, which is obviously more dangerous, so that you can see that they're pretty. <laughs> wow. it's, it's pretty terrible. Yeah, I was uh, reading that the uh, you know the sport with most injuries is cheerleading. Yeah, yeah, cheerleading. Yeah, it's it's absolutely unbelievable what they uh, put themselves through, and um, yeah, it's it's pretty scandalous. Yeah. But, you know, uh, happens in America, and... They, uh, they don't pay the college uh, uh, players of sports, you know, and they move up absolutely mental amounts of money. The spring uh, tournament of the college uh, basketball, only on us, is like $2 billion. Yeah. They don't yeah, officially pay them. <laughs> but some do get paid, don't they? Like, backhanders and stuff. No, no, well, if they, they, not, they, 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 if they get caught... For any of that, they're in severe they trouble. They made their yeah, rules. Yeah, yeah. Even some and everything. Like some they have done, the... though, haven't they? Some have been yes. found out. That was in the past. They made the rules even worse, and now they get, you know, they get mostly nothing. The training, <laughs> the education, which is just fake titles, you know, just go to this class and get the, the points, but nobody has been a doctor or anything like that. Yeah, so there, there, there was a lawsuit brought by um, Los Angeles um, against the NCAA. And uh, the rules have changed. That they're now um, the uh, the student athlete is now entitled to any money made as a result of their image, uh, ah, good. which which used to be absolutely huge. And that's, one of the great that's from the that trial made. of the video game because there was the video game, the college basketball right. video game. Yeah, and mm. the the guy, the, the owner of the game, didn't get a single penny. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Diced. Talk about diced. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, it's slavery, you know, for lack of any other way of describing it. It's the only way that these guys are able to get to college in the first place, and um, and then they're just used for their um, uh, athletic acumen and uh, discarded. So or, delightful. Or, or or have a professional career and make millions. Yes, but the the like success rate on that is, I mean, it, yes, it's yeah, yeah it's. Like you just you, you don't make it. Yeah. So yeah. Cheney, Cheney finally still get a chance makes to win. I've got otherwise, so you know it is what it is, isn't it? I, I, I suppose it is what it is. It's um, it's still um, do you know. I mean, they get the same uh, the same uh, the amounts as a blue ball coach, you know, just for the glory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Claude does a thing. Exactly, Lehman Russ. Yeah, that's a good. That's a, that's a fair comment. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> so you you can have you have to pay the support for three kids, you know, when you leave. Yeah. Yeah, I love the game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The coaches get paid, by the way. They love the game. They look oh, for pure. They is, you know, yeah. don't get paid. The players don't get paid. Make it pure, and they make millions. Millions, yeah. Even J5 was talking recently about there's a um, school, um, there's a uh, some sort of arena near his house that's for the local college team, which is, you know, bigger than Metalow Stadium or some shit. It's just stupid the amount yeah. of money that they have in college football. Yeah, it's pretty wild. And none of it goes to the um, athletes. So I mean, that, that helps them get more money, doesn't it, to be fair? <laughs> it's all just very, it's very problematic. So, I mean, yeah, it's it, it, probably a more nuanced conversation is required. Yeah. yeah. The son of a friend here, uh, he got uh, caught by the American Uni to go to play football, uh, soccer. Mm. And uh, he was there, uh, come back uh, during COVID, and never came back to America to keep playing. He was like, uh, you know, it was good fun, but at some point he realized, you know, he was older, a little older or more experienced than yeah. the players there. And he was like, what the hell is going on here? We're training like hours and hours on uh, without any end, thing like that. Uh -huh. I'm not get, I'm not getting to do anything. <laughs> yeah. oh, inter interesting that he left this exposed. I thought he might have brought somebody over here. Mm. Um, I expected these two to be here, and maybe he's even a GFI to get here. 
and this guy like double GFI something. But this is uh, yeah. this is a little bit exposed here. Elliot might go for this. So just come in hypno and then come through. Or like blitz. Yeah. Well, it's a it's a stand firm as well, right? Yeah. But yeah. Just yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's no tackle here. No, there is not. See a slight uh, weak diagonal. Well, slight weakness in the uh, in the defense. Mm. Yeah, Ali Radar, yes, last week tonight did a very good uh, report about that. It was hmm. mental. South Park make an absolutely epic episode about the college sports. When they went with the babies on crack sport, the, the Carman design <laughs> to get views in YouTube. Hmm. And it ends being about the college sports. She's like, holy shit, man. <laughs> it was brutal, but it was, you know, it was, well, it's not part. You know, but when the twist comes, it's like, oh my God, it's all about this. Mm -hmm. Because Carmen goes to talk to the uh, owners of the universities, you know, how to how to keep their slaves fit. Say, yep. Slaves? What are you talking about? <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> they tend to be black. You yeah. don't pay them. Mm -hmm. What would so, you call them? On, tell me. <laughs> you no, just go straight through this way instead. Yeah, it's at five, isn't it? It is at five, and yeah. Just a. It is a GFI, though, right? Or to base the ball. Double GFI. Yeah, to base, could double base GFI to base, yeah. Go for it. I mean, uh, mm. one and then another one, and. Ooh. Ooh. That's a reroll. It is, yeah. The big question now is whether he brings tackle man all the way through as well, and uh, where he decides to set him up. I mean, I think he should bring another bump. Yeah, yeah it's just it's try. much harder for it's much harder for that guy to get through because it is a it's a three three. Uh, well, three two, isn't it? But the problem uh, is three two. Sorry, yes. The problem yeah. is the, the the what's it called? Uh, he might bloodlust blood and yeah. he'd like to GFI and he's just going to get two through the max. One, two, three, four, five, mm -hmm. six. Like he's just going there and there or something like it. So he does bloodlust. Oh, bloodlust, blood yeah. So it could have been interesting if he decided to come all the way through and um, goes for the four plus and doesn't get it. Yeah, but it could have been interesting. Right yeah. If he hadn't uh, bloodlusted, he could have come through with the first of them and hypnote the guy from behind and then let the other guy come through fully. Yes, yeah. Yes, that probably would have been the play, wouldn't it? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then gaze. Yeah, and then, oh, then oh, gaze. Yeah, just, and then, just, oh, yeah. just, yeah. That's, this is not going well for Elliot. And no. Elliot is in a, it's in a clock here. Well, it's turn five and the dwarves are behind, but the, the dwarves are going to keep hitting the thralls. Yeah, I mean overall it's kind of it's it's not ideal, but it's kind of fine as well. I mean he does have some pressure on the ball, and uh, dwarfs are slow. They will have to come all the way back to get into it. I mean I don't um, think he got, can yeah. afford to come back to hit him because he's strength five, no. isn't he? So it's just going to come to an eight, just gonna, eight out of nine dodge. Yeah, exactly. So he'll have to just dodge. Nine. This looks terrible for <laughs> Elliot. <laughs> Um, it is interesting how much, because uh, I watch Elliot play a lot, and he is extremely conservative, except when he's playing vampires. Yeah. Uh, he just rolls dice, because, I mean, you're playing vampires and they have to roll dice, so he just yes. does it. Uh, I don't think there's any other team that he plays where he would have done that, well, fuck it, I'll just do the 3-2-2-2 mm. uh, as the last action of the turn. Um, he just wouldn't do it. Like, what, I might have to do a GFI this turn? Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe he is going to come back and hit this this fan. Yeah, maybe. I mean, it's fair enough in a way, right? Because uh, if you can, you know, if hit, you can nail this vampire, <laughs> you just win. Yeah, hitting him is on his agenda. So if he can do it at the same time, you know. The problem is, like, it's turn five and you're not getting forward. Yeah. So. I'm a little bit surprised, but obviously, you know, one in nine lose the game. But so what? I think you just go for the dodge and get up to a big old, mm -hmm. big old cage up here is probably better. Maybe PC was taking on board the um, little criticism you had from recently, talking about if there is a weakness, it's the fact that he always takes the space. I don't know. I wouldn't say. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Weakness? No, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't, sure. I wouldn't take it at all. You're taking advantage of the space, oh. What a mistake! Yeah. Here we oh, go. here we go! Mm. Oh! Oh! Wow! 
<laughs> oh wow! Flip me. Well, he would have he would have failed the dodge if he if he'd gone for the dodge. So there is that. Uh, yeah. No way. <laughs> no <Yeah>. way. <laughs> wow is right. Uh, Jesus Christ. The problem is the lack of thrall, so he's got to roll. You know, he's got all his two pluses for bloodlust. Oh, bloodlust yeah, dodge. Does, yeah. But and there's no real way to get. I guess you can try and get him through. Yeah. But like down, but not through. But he can get him down. One, two, three, four, five, six, which isn't doing much good. No, mm -hmm. no, doesn't it? No, he has to uh, have to roll those two pluses there. Yeah, it all comes down to this turn, doesn't it? Dodge out with him, hit him, and then dodge out with him, and maybe yeah. score. Maybe score. Maybe I he mean, might have to. Blitz with the tackler, recover the ball with the g five, and score. Yeah. Problem is, if he, that's obviously it's. I mean, oh right, my god. If he, yeah, if he bloodlusts, you have to re-roll it. And he doesn't get the power. No. And if he hadn't, uh, if he if he'd failed that one in, if he'd won in 36, that obviously that would have been pretty terrible. Because there was no way he could get back up to bite anything. Uh, but yeah, he has to roll the two, five, the bloodlust anyway, five, because he can leave the vampires just there. You yeah, know, yeah, there. yeah, for sure. He would have sure. re-roll it, yeah. Mm -hmm. He really had to re-roll it when that was... <laughs> yeah. God. Bit diced, hasn't he been so far, Elliot? He has, which is an interesting comment after PC won in eighty one. Yep, yep, correct. So what do you do with this guy? Hmm. You could just gaze him and try and get like this thrall, so he's somewhat relevant. I mean, it would be great to get that thrall free, wouldn't it? Or he could just punch. Because punching is mm. good. <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> He's got oh. a bloodlust. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Needed the push. Otherwise he, he would have... Otherwise he would have... Uh... Oh, no, he didn't. He has There's a throw. He has a throw. Uh, There's, uh... There's a guy there. Never mind. Oh, please. A better guy to bite, in fact. He's already stunned. Because he's already stunned. Hmm. Wow. Well, what a no. game. Now time to try some three plus with the throne. Yep. yep. Mm. Mm. Yeah, he okay. ties him up because it takes two people does, to hit yeah. him. It does. This is tricky for tricky. PC. Very tricky oh! for PC. Oh! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Coaches are playing a very low level here, you know, he has really double skulls for the... Wow... Jesus Christ... But, you know, that was that was a bit bad from PC, right? He had this safe move, he had this safe move, yeah. potentially, depending on where he's going to blitz, but one of them was a safe move. He had maybe a safe move over here to tag this guy, but, you know, probably not. Had this safe move, so he, he could have done safe moves, but of course you do not expect a quad skulls ever, so, you know, completely forgive him for that. Of course. I mean, how do you mitigate that? Like, Holy fuck me. Moly. Well, Holy okay. Moly. Uh, this does not look like a score for PC. Um, where is no. Blitz? Well, he's got the agility guy on the line, I suppose, on the halfway line. No, it's uh, looking very much a score for Elliot. Is much more yeah. likely than PC. He can move the throw well, uh, down now. So. Elliot has no rerolls. Yeah, but it's still looking much more likely for Elliot than PC. Mm -hmm. There's a lovely gaze there. Oof. Wow. So it does get a follow up hit, but this will be a blitz through. That Might just be a block is. and then he could blitz with dodge, blitz with chain, you know? Hmm. If he has to. This if is a 3D as well. This is a 3D from the strength. It is, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think if he pushes him, it's it's fine. So I think you probably just block and then try a dodge, blitz with chain. I guess he'll think about it for a while. He will. I mean, whatever he decides is obviously the correct course of action, <laughs> but uh, it's interesting to see um, which yes, one he wants to go uh, with. Getting the power with the Blitz with the Strength 5 is 30%, mm -hmm. but managing the you know the 3 plus dodge is much better than a 30%. So I'll go with the dodge with the Cheney to go after the 3 dice. Even if you yeah. fail, the fail state is not that horrible because all the bumps are on the ball. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I think he might just do the. Th he might just go for this 3D here, 
the and repositioning then... is of the of the big guy is pretty nice as well though if he does get the hit through oh of course yeah. it is yeah but like he's still in a dominant position isn't he yeah yeah Does, does not that dominant, spells, I guess. Man. If he pushes this, in, it's uh, one, last two, few three, times, four, five, this, six, half mm -hmm. has been a... I don't, I don't think I've seen that many double scarlets on a row, you know. Uh, no, it's crazy. In a long, long time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, quote me on this, <clears throat> there will be more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe he has yeah, to blitz, actually. Sure, yeah. Blitz and then dodge, just, like, just so that if it's not knocked down, he can go to here. So, yeah, I think you probably do yeah. blitz. So if you push, you follow, dodge away, and then stand there. Yeah. And then he's in a lot of trouble. Yeah. So I think it might have to be a blitz. Or I guess he could do the blitz first. Yeah, do the dodge blitz first. By doing the dodge first, if you fail, at least he's still surrounded. So yeah, so that's why. That's why Elliot made what looks like a shit play of mm -hmm. dodging this guy off, because he goes for that first and then he would have yeah. still got one two three four five six seven. oh god it was bitch actually one two three four five six yeah seven so it'd have been two and two he couldn't have gone around like it would have been better if he could have gone around yeah yeah is it pretty simple yeah it is isn't it 2d it is, yeah. yeah it actually is pretty simple so yeah maybe he should have done maybe he should have blitzed with the, the maybe i think he probably should have blitzed with a vampire push him to here and then stand there Cause that's really well. Good, I mean, it's it? still a, it is still a, you know, the dodge off tackle, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, but it's pretty easy. Oh Ooh, wow! Well, now wow. it's not. Fucking hell! These one in nines are absolutely killing him. But at least they're not going on the dodge. Wow. Yeah. Well, he just needed. He just needed. I mean, he needed a power. I guess the push was still not very good. Push. Well, no. But well, no, it wouldn't have worked with it. I push would have put him there, so we got the dodge yeah, out. One, so, two, three, yeah. four, five, six. We double geified. Mm -hmm. and there's no way through the inside either, because you'd have to take another dodge. So yeah. A blockless dodge. Hello, stop, baby. But now, he, now it's just terrible, isn't it? Because it's like a four without tack, yep. without dodge, mm -hmm. and then a three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then a GFI, Then the handoff, and then. Yeah. To victory, almost. But do you risk the four, the four three? He's got to reel yeah. for both with, with the team. Yes. The question is, to, uh, can can he afford to do anything else? Well, yeah, exactly. If he stays there, he's just going to lose the ball next turn, isn't he? So he has to, he has to go for it. He does have to go for it, I think. So it was a pretty massive um, self removal from uh, Cheney as well. Yes, yes, um, that was uh, we didn't mention it, but uh, yeah, another. Uh, oh, there you go. Yep. Oh, beautiful. Yep. Yeah, had I think to do I've, it. Just plugged it in. Yep. Yeah, I think I think Elliot had the blitz with a vampire, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So Cheney's not even back to cover for this as well, mm -hmm. which is another problem with uh, with Cheney having come down. Go there to make it a four plus, but yeah, if he goes here, he's got guard. So mm -hmm. one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I never trust star players. <laughs> yeah, I think the play was a three D, three D blitz, dodge off and mark there. Then, then if he's got the strength five sidestepper there. Another yep. player here, another player here. There's like no way for him to make it easy. Is there? I guess he would have blitzed this one and then three plus four three that way from there. So it would have probably yeah. ended up about the same. Uh, funnily enough, um, PC getting this back on track gives um, gives Eliad two KO rolls. Yes, if he if he gets it. Yeah. But on a three four, he will successfully defend the score. Yes. Nothing else to do? Uh, don't think so. Well, I guess he can punch for... Uh, he can punch some lads. Yeah. No attrition. Punch oh, some yeah, lads. well, that was a good, oh that my was a good punch for attrition. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, good. doesn't uh, die. As, as I promised, I told you guys there was going to be more double stars. <laughs> That's it. The algorithm, the algorithm is clear here. <laughs> this is what happens to everybody oh, else when... Oh, has when... to roll a GFI to score. He does, yeah, yeah. I wondered if there was a way to like move everything around to get a chain, but I don't think so. This is what happens when um, Rick decides to play goblins. 
Um, he just he uses all of the good dice. <laughs> that's and true. That's true. Everybody I was else watching, gets I was left watching with his... it. Team earlier, and there were a few plays that were like absolutely disgusting. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> fucking disgusting. Yeah. Yeah, it was insane. Yeah. Scatter catch on this guy. Yeah, of course, obviously. <laughs> there was a bomb with uh, Dibbler's node, you know, that uh, was inaccurate to go to a better place and mm -hmm. hit all the players, like six mm -hmm. players. Mm -hmm. <laughs> standard. Yeah, 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 I mean, uh, no problem. <laughs> it, it, it is standard for Elliot. And for, I mean, Elliot uh, for Rick, I don't know why it's for Rick, Elliot. Yeah. Yes, this I mean, uh, Rick, yeah. let's not forget that Rick is the equivalent of the a god emperor of mankind when he comes <laughs> to Blood Bowl. You know, he lives in the <laughs> yeah. dice. Uh, Gives the, gives the light to the Dice Nomicon in his golden chair. <laughs> the Dice Nomicon. <laughs> the Dice Nomicon that guide all the coaches, you know, across the universe. <laughs> and, in, and instead of having, you know, psychers, instead of having psychers in, uh, to feed him, he uses, you know, Gideinix. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hit, his you know, energy, hit, you know? Hitchhikers and Gideinix. <laughs> yes. Gedenik's from another universe. That's why yeah. Gedenik um, has so many uh, versions of Gedenik, mm -hmm. because all of them live in the big basement. <laughs> uh, no Cheney back. Uh, does get another roll of them, but uh, no Cheney back for this. Boy, howdy. That was absolute genius. The Dice <laughs> like, And you want more? Really, you want more? You know, the equivalent, the, the equivalent of the Black Templars uh, going with Blood Bowl is obviously the chapter master will be Calcium. <laughs> 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 no mercy, no regrets. <laughs> Purge. Yeah. <laughs> With your bloody numbers and your bloody percentages, mm -hmm. he has gone on foul. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't guarantee the enemy is dead. So that, presumably that would make um, either Flicky or Daedle uh, angry Ron, yeah? Angron. No, 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 no. They, they will be the 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 one from the Flesh Terrors, the Blood Angels. Oh, cool. Yep. Um, and, and Flicky will be the Lamenters. You guys know <laughs> yeah, it's, it's still correct, but it's all horrible because they've got the flaw, the tragic flaw. Yes, the tragic flaw, the rage, you know, the, the dark, uh, the blue rage and the, the blue, rage, the, yeah. and the dark, uh, the black rage. Mm -hmm. And uh, Elliot will be obviously the the primark of the Dark Angels. <laughs> what well, Lionel Johnson? Because he's a, he's a tactical Elliot, genius and a bit of a prick. <laughs> Lionel Elliot. <laughs> El Elliot <laughs> Johnson. <laughs> Johnson. I, I say that in the one in the Elliot's channel. I also, yes, it's the same problem with Lionel Johnson, you know. Every single time he speaks, everybody gets, gets, gets it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, that's really funny. That's really, really funny. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, man, somebody, somebody needs to like to like Photoshop Flicky's Flicky's head on the lament. <laughs> right, well, uh, so no score anyway, but um, yeah, it does get a bunch of hits here. See if he can do any damage to these uh, dwarfs. Not likely, but uh, no. You know, no reason not to. No, it's almost looking done now, isn't it, poor Elliot? Yeah. And not really surprising, is it? Like, well, you know, like he nearly got there. He got he got a bunch of dice on the on the ball carrier, but um, mm. oh, it was a tough ass. Gets a nice hit on the agility four though, and ooh, thick skull being used correctly. Mm. But uh, and he does because uh, of that gaze, and he can uh, get a nice um, foul maybe, but doesn't go for it because he's already down numbers and he's too conservative. Mm. Cheney back. Yep, and still 11 players. Yeah. Has a chance, so, has a chance. He needs to do a... Uh, what well, to do he, here? He, you know, he go want for a quick score. Yeah, Meanwhile, yeah. you still have players, or yeah. just try to stall and go for overtime. Uh, see what happens on the kickoff and work it out from there. Um, yes, I think he'll just try to score. <laughs> like, I think, you know, he's not, you know, beggars can't be choosers. If he can score on any turn, he will, I think. I think it, this is just going to be hard to score full stop. 
Yes. And you're asking who will be Gulliman, I say Dio, because he's the one that masters the numbers, the strategy yeah. and the tactics. Yes. And obviously Jedainik, Jedainik will be Sanguinius, you know, the chosen one, the handsome mm. one, the, the hawk boy. Every, the one that everybody likes, yeah. The uh, guy who should have been the War Master. Yeah, exactly. Oh, who am I then? Who am I then? I don't know, well, Jimmy. Uh, I have to think about that. Who, 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 who we have left? Night, night hunter. <laughs> if you if you ask uh, you ask the people at Rebel, probably you know you'll be Horus uh, Lubrical. Yeah, Horus Lubrical. Oh, yeah, you'll be yeah. the actual war, the war master himself. Yeah, all right. I'll take that. But that's the, all uh, Rebel. No, the no, great I heretic. To... I'll take that. I was just trying to do the right thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the emperor is cheater. It's a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I mean, Belisari's call could well be uh, Mr. Page, what with his constant inventing of new things to put on the screen. <laughs> and he's a floating skull too. So yeah. Oh, he's a floating skull as well. That fits with the uh, back. Yep. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I mean. Obviously, obviously, you know, the Space Cadet is this is one, the Space Wolves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no defense. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Best offense is a good, is a good bit defense. Oh, well, I should be, I should be the, uh, the Emperor's Children one then, right? Is it Emperor's Children? Are they what, the ones that got fucked by the Space Marines? Oh, no, that's, uh, the, that was the, um, Thousand Sons. Thousand Sons, yeah, yeah, so I should Magnus be the Thousand Magnus. Red. Nah, old Magnus, old Magnus the Red, Old nah. Psyker Supreme, Old One Eye. There you go. But they, they got fucked by the Space Wolves, didn't they? <laughs> they did, yeah. Prospero yes. burned, yeah. <laughs> oh, we need to find one of the good ones. One of the good ones. One of the good uh, Primarchs. <laughs> well, Rogaldor could be, you know, uh, Jimmy, never taking any risk. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sound tactician, you know, Sound all about the, the, the defense. Mm. His uh, fantastic fortress. Cages, fantastic cages. Yeah. <laughs> and if you are always uh, missing your gunner, go with Alfarius, you know, because anyone could be Alfarius. Ah, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're all Alfarius. Art, Art and I could both be Alfarius. <laughs> that would work. I'm sure people think we're the same person. <laughs> And then, and well, then, and then, then sometimes we say exactly the same thing at exactly the same time. So we, maybe we are. <laughs> There's his free reroll. Oof. Oof. Makes it. Well, it does, but this isn't the bloodlust, and it isn't. He's fine. I don't think this is a turn sixteen at all. No. Uh, no, no, but it doesn't really look like turn. it. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's about as straightforward a two turner as you can get. Oh. <laughs> what about Dimmy? <laughs> there's gotta be, there's gotta be some comedy with Dimmy, whatever the answer is. I mean, well, it, it, the, the, the funny thing would be like if he was part of Rabo because you're Dorn and he's just jealous of you. Oh right. <laughs> Dimmy's I want to say, got good track out with you know, Dimmy. <laughs> Jimmy leading the walk, I can see that. Can yeah. see that yeah. Well, he's more like Macari than he is like Gasco. <laughs> <laughs> the Afasa Kane will be Jimmy, you know, hero of the Empire. Mm -hmm. That's my sheer luck. <laughs> oh, that, that's fantastic. Yes. He definitely is Caiaphas Kane. Yeah. There you go. Oh, those are great books. Those are great books, aren't they, Fimer? I read the three of them and they were really, really funny. They were, uh, They're great. They were spot on on the mix between parody and good uh, stories. Yes. This is pretty nice. Uh, gonna be annoyed at himself for having left that chain on, although he doesn't really take as much advantage of it as I thought he was going to. But he does get some more dwarfs in here. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's just gonna threaten the score, isn't he? Like, he can't, yeah. he can't stop it. And he can—he doesn't have to score this turn. This is GFI. Mm -hmm. I think he probably won't score this turn. I think he'll yeah. try and get another start, another turn over mm -hmm. it. I think the Wamps should try and score one turn just to just to save the two plus. Yeah. 
I mean, you know, I, I think definitely it being Elliot, the fact that it's a GFI means he's very unlikely to do it. But having said that, he, he does roll dice when he plays vampires, unlike every other team he plays. Yeah, but PC can't really threaten the score because if he does, he's, get, he's getting them hit by Cheney, isn't he? So it's he is, yeah. But he's, he's done that to try and negate the Cheney a bit. Mm. Oh, really nice. Oh, I know, I know who's uh, Jimmy. <laughs> obviously, obviously, Jimmy is Commander Dante, the oldest one, always tired, yep. <laughs> always, always dice it. <laughs> the golden one. The yep. golden one, you know, has to keep playing, has to keep going, you know, because he's fated that he has to keep going. He likes to retire, yeah. but everybody, can't. like, he wants to retire, but nobody will let him. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's that's decent. Mm hmm. <laughs> And that is a good character. Yeah, I had Dante as well. I had, I had, yeah. I had the model. Dante's cool. Oh, and <laughs> the poor guy. In gold, so there you go. <laughs> and the poor guy just trying. Yeah, you know, and he's the only old, uh, actually old looking uh, space angel. Yeah, he actually looks old. Yeah. A blue angel. Oh, does he actually look old now? Yeah, yes. he does. Yeah. He's mm. 1500 years old. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's fucking old. Of constant like... war, you know, the guy yeah. has been streaming for 1500 years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but he's a like... space marine, isn't he? He might still just look, and he's a blood angel, he might still look beautiful. But I guess that's oh, why no, he's no, very handsome. Very I mean, he's yeah, that's why he wears old, the mask. Old, yeah. old but charismatic. Yeah, he, there, there is a bit in, in his book where he, um, he gets seen without his mask, and the lads are all like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's, it's like, he thinks of the mask like look yeah, how tired right. I am and people are all like holy Jesus shit. Christ <laughs> yeah. holy shit Jim turn the face come off <laughs> <laughs> and you know what kills uh, Dante a swarm lord no way yes oh, fucking that's hilarious terrible. after yeah. killing like millions of other uh, tyrannids uh, oh yeah, yeah. The, uh, the, the the Siege of Baal is the name of the book, which is, is pure entertainment. It's just grab the popcorn and see people yeah, do yeah, epic things non-stop. Class, yeah. And Mephist that's it's nearly being a boss as well. Nearly all the books of the Lady Blue Angels are saying like, more, "Oh my God, why no?" And now now I have to take care of half of the galaxy. Yeah, <laughs> half of the galaxy. <laughs> that is that is away from the light of the Emperor. Yeah. Bloodlust again. Oh my god, he might just go for the it's score horrendous. with that bloodlust. Mm. <laughs> and the push. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he might just he might just go for the score. Oh yeah, PC the dragon out there. Jesus, with the dice rolls going the way they are, do you just fucking like go, okay, well I clearly I can't roll a two plus, so <laughs> I mean, you can move this guy first, can't you? Yeah, you can, and Cheney as well can cover a bit. No Slayer to worry about. I think the, the stall could be another turn tops. Mm -hmm. Like, he doesn't want a GFI. So, yeah, he'll just, if he bloodlusts, he'll, he'll, yeah, okay. So he'll he'll just start, got a GFI. Yeah. He's got a GFI, hasn't he? Ooh. I, well, he has that, to. Oh, I guess not because yeah, you can't two D him, can you? Yeah, you can't two D him. What can you do? You can't one D him. Yeah, I suppose if, even if you do manage to get some dice in, he just sidesteps in, right? Yeah. Here, come, here yeah, comes the, up, up, the yeah. uphill into that. Here mm. comes the up, uphill into that. Call it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, of course you stole. Yeah, he's, that was good, wasn't it? That was good by Elliot. He didn't need a screen or anything. He just needed to prevent two D or even a one D. Mm hmm. Well, plenty of three pluses to finish off the turn. Lovely. <laughs> Jimmy's the emperor, greatest of them all, but has problems with a chair. <laughs> if it wasn't Rick, then yes, yep. that would be that would be perfect for Jimmy. Or yeah, uh, we could be he could be. Um, uh, the golden throne is broken. <laughs> what's his name? The the Malkador, the Sigilite, yeah. The the found, the guy who has all of the knowledge collected, and then he has a go on the chair, and it fucks him. Uh, yeah. He could be the. Uh, he could also be like the. There's isn't there one? Isn't there like a? There's like an Inquisitor, isn't there? That's in like a. Uh, in like uh, a thing. The books, yes. Uh, was the one that has the big series of books? Uh, 
Eisenhorn. Eisenhorn is the is the main. No, no, that isn't isn't there one that like he's in like a he's like oh, riding uh, a big chair or something. Ravenor, Ravenor. Oh yes, uh, Kra uh, Kar Karamov. Right, yeah, yeah Karamov. The the, yeah. yeah, the guy in the huge big uh, throne. Yeah. Yeah, that. No, but there is there is another one in the Eisenhorn uh, novels that is like uh, has to live inside the chair. Oh. Yes, there is. Yeah. Oh, that guy's really tragic. <laughs> so much drama, eh? so much drama all over there. Yeah. It's like mm. his, his star pupil who gets absolutely fucked as a result of Eisenhorn's incompetence. No, the, it happens during the... It wasn't 100% the footage when the, there is a massive attack. <laughs> After that, nice. uh, during the celebration of one of the victories or something like that, and they're everybody there and they're like, everything goes to fuck. <laughs> oh yes, you're right. He gets firebomb during a parade. Thank you. That's... Yeah, I think he gets hit by a titan or something. Like that. <laughs> it's, it's pretty ridiculous. Yeah. So does he stall for another turn here? Because he, he definitely can do, right? This is not pressure. Well, from... He might lose Cheney though, right? Well, he can just dodge him. Oh. Who's that for? He can free the yeah, that that, that frees uh, Cheney. I know it's not Frees Cheney to have a fucking hop off one of the other boys. Is maybe what he's at. Yeah, just touch away. You could blitz uh, this guy. Could blitz this this blitzer with Cheney. Hmm. On a tree. <laughs> <laughs> He could blitz the blitzer with the vamp, and then use the fact that the vamp is standing there. Oh, oh he's mad to get rid of the edge four. He's really recognizes it as a threat. So if he plugs him down the bottom here, or just oh no, he can't do that. Yeah, that just gives him the 2D easy, doesn't it? And then he can just dodge Cheney. Okay, cool. Pretty decent. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, not enough, not enough pe pressure from PC really was there. Like I know they're slow, but like maybe he should have tried. Maybe he could have done something better to get more heat on. Because he, this is like you know, there's a wall, but it's not. He's not getting in amongst it, is he? No. I think maybe he's, he he won't be able to stall again, Elliot. I imagine there'll be enough. There'll be enough around next turn to. Uh, I mean, I thought it was probably going to be tricky last turn, what with the uh, sandwiching in of Cheney, but uh, I suppose, well, he did get the... It was a wrestle hit, but he did get the full power, which kind of made it the rest of it okay. Yeah. Ooh. Well, it's been a while since we lost this roll, so it's probably yeah. all fine. Yeah, it's not that bad. Down three, two. Yeah. And two KOs, which is kind of fine. This is the dangerous story, but I mean, you know, he's going to get hit anyway, isn't he? Like that's all. That's only one hit, mm -hmm. and one block, and one blitz is really quite, quite acceptable. Yeah. Problem is, if he bloodlusts, like, is so he's got to try and oh well, he pushes him there. That mm. is a choice. Hmm. Yes, because if he pushes him back and uh, blood last, no, he, he, he can score. Yeah, so he, he would have had to. But now being there, something. he can move there and bite and score. Mm. I think is that how it works? It yeah, is, yeah. yeah. So he wouldn't have been able to score if he shoved them the other side. So yeah. But you know, there might have been some mistake. way of freeing things. You know, like who knows? He mm. might have been able to free him somehow and stuff, and like you know, done things. Mm -hmm. Uh, like if he pushes him back to there, then Cheney just blitzes him, doesn't he? And uh, and then frees him that way. But then that might not be good enough. So you know, who knows? Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, he's got this one in. I, I don't think it would have been easy to have uh, blitz with Cheney. Can't blitz with Cheney now, can he? So no, he can't. He <coughs> probably just uh, 2D blitzers, fishes for a pow, or, and then uh, and then dodges. Mm-hmm. You can't go there. You can't hit. You can't get to here. Like, well, you need to gaze both of them, so you can't. Because yeah. if, if he could get this guy free, he could gaze him, couldn't he? Which would be nice. But yep. He can't, so I think he just 2Ds him for a power and then dodges. I don't think there's anything better than that. One in thirty-six no. might have to use a team reroll. You put the stand out. firm because the stand firm has tackle. Uh, some guy one one three. Yeah. So, uh, I'm curious as to whether he's working or whether he can get some hits on the guys that he's been trying to pick on. Which oh, yeah, he could just hit the runner and follow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah okay. Hit the runner, follow, and if you blow that, you have the mm -hmm. yeah, the runner yeah. next to you to bite. All right, that's a good shout. Yeah, that's it. Oh, nine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he can still blitz so that if it's a ball down, he can still dodge. Yeah, still yeah. Dodge. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's, that's better. I'm an idiot. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking about the tackle, but there you go. That's the old... Uh, that's the old... Uh, tunnel vision, isn't it? You know, I was just thinking about mm -hmm. I've got to get rid of the tackle. So, yep, bad Jim. Good chat. Very surprised that it wasn't double scans. He should have definitely blitzed, though. Yeah, he should have 100% blitz. <laughs> 100%. Yeah, 100% blitz. Oh, yeah, that was a blitz, yes. I mean, uh, he didn't blitz, it must be a mistake. Mm -hmm. Because there is no point just blocking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two ones on the KO. You'd be glad to see them got rid of. Yeah, huge. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, the kind of result you want. Double one, that would have been the dodge. <laughs> yep, there you go. <laughs> I mean, he might, could well have made it a blitz. We just didn't see it. Yeah. Maybe. No, he could. He should have made a blitz in case of a one in nine. He can still exactly. move dodge and. Uh, the same. I would okay. be. I would be very surprised if he hadn't made it a blitz. Yeah, it could. It could just be the 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 shit, the shit UI. Mhm. Mm so five turns for PC. It took him five turns to to get to the to get like the ball to the halfway line, didn't it last turn? But um. It was, wasn't even in the halfway line. He was still, it was still on about this line, wasn't he? On turn five in the first half. So he's got. So, yep. Carry on. No, no. It was uh, dark side. It was, uh, apparently has both chats on and is uh, telling us that news in from the front is that he was giving out of him to himself for not having blitz. Uh -huh. So he did actually make a mistake. Eliad made a mistake. Somebody's Oof. time stamp. Somebody Oof. time stamp it. I hope he's Actually, not kicking no. himself for that for yeah. the next 10 years. <laughs> yeah, nobody needs to timestamp it. It's a joke, because Eliod will, <laughs> will definitely be aware of it. <laughs> for the next, yeah, 10 years sounds about right. <laughs> fucking, fucking, fuck, fuck, fucking, fucking. I'm shit at Blood Bowl. I'm terrible. Yeah. I'm the worst person who's ever lived. <laughs> there you go. Who could have done this? <laughs> he was... So he ran into somebody this morning who was playing Nurgle and had like, you know, 60 games played on it. And he was like, hi, I'm a big fan of the stream. I'm actually doing the Eliad challenge. And Eliad was like, there's no challenge. I just, the team was bad. I had to play it for a hundred and whatever games. It's not a challenge. Don't do this to yourself. <laughs> there's never been a challenge. And in chat, I was like, I don't know, man. I watch your, I watch you stream all the time and I find it a challenge. <laughs> hey. <Wait>, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh very good hammers the people from the younger people very politically correct that will meet with much approval from Kalon. Mm -hmm. more talk like that please hammers yeah let's not alienate the 0.6 percent yeah let's not yep i love the fact that like i'm not in any way perturbed by the fact that i'm correct <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Look at Kalon, what a jerk. He wants everybody to be nice to each other. <laughs> what a dickhead. 
<laughs> he wants to take other people's feelings into account. What a loser. <laughs> what a dickhead. <laughs> Doesn't take people's in feelings into account when he's using shitty fucking hero clicks, though, does he? <laughs> well, hey! <laughs> <laughs> Absolute scene. Oh, a good scatter. Interesting. Uh, I did not, Jay Bazzi. He actually laughed along with me, which was lovely. Um, contrary to popular opinion, he does actually have a sense of humour. Just hasn't been spotted in the wild. Yeah, it's it's normally just that, um, you know, if Dimmy's in there giving him grief, then his sense of humour just goes out the window. Yeah. I don't know or anyone like that who would preemptively ban Dimmy just when he says hello. <laughs> no. <laughs> Never. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just ban him, it's easier. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised by uh, Elliot here, by the way, putting Cheney on there rather than on the sideline. I guess he thought maybe he could get surf, but like, how much better is that if this is the strength five there? Because then you can't hit Cheney. Yeah, for sure. Um, or you could one D Cheney, I guess, but you can't aim because it'd, it'd have been one D and he sized up to here. So. Mm -hmm. I'm back. I was. Uh, I went for a coffee. Well, oh, lovely. Uh, was it not? Did you bring one for everybody? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Fair enough. You could yeah. blitz there and, and get Cheney around as well, I guess. I'm not gonna make 174 coffees. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's mean. That's, you should uh, be keeping everybody happy like Kalon does. Ooh. Yeah. Well, no, that's that's kind of why I'm here, right? So that I can be the um, the translator. Like the gym whisperer, isn't that? <laughs> yeah. Really you have to choose to be someone I'll be Bulkan from the Salamander. You know, the guy with the funny accent. Nice. Yes. <laughs> Come yeah, here, bro. He, that's what he's known for, the funny accent. <laughs> <laughs> And he's strong, he's strong, he's strong too, you know? Yes, he's a perpetual. <laughs> yes, uh, which means, which means that he gets destroyed every five minutes. Yeah, he does, yeah. And Ful Fulgrim uh, cuts his head off and um, uh, he somehow, meant, he cuts his head off and then uh, somebody, one of the salamanders gets onto the ship and steals Vulcan's head and uh, sends it out into space where it plummets to ground and uh, then he just grows back from the of charred remains of his head. Mm. Yes. Yeah, pretty cool. Conrad uh, Kurs uh, grabs him and uh, tortures him. It's Conrad uh, uh, Kurs. Yes, you're right. And mm. then uh, in uh, one of the last books of the Horus Heresy, he has to fight uh, Magnus, and he's more or less a constant dead and uh, resurrection. Nice. Mag Kills him and he keeps going. Magnus kills him and he keeps going. I mean, Vulcan lives, right? He really wanted the yes. power there. Oh Ooh. man, he rolls another Ooh. one. Oh, Elliot, stop rolling shit. Maybe you just eat this. Oh, you can't. I don't think you can. God. I quite like the blitz there and then mm -hmm. try for the four plus gaze here. Yeah. And then if you get the four plus gear here, you get him through as well. He can come through, yeah. Oh, man. Stop rolling shit, Elliot. Yeah, I, I think he has to, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he has to roll his... Uh... Oh, my, oh, my oh, God. My God. Yeah, well, maybe you start with the gears. Yeah, that's a safe play, isn't it? Start with the gears. Mm -hmm. But maybe he was going to think about GFI with him. Oh, my God. Poor Elliot. Yeah, it's been rough, man. Which is pretty impressive considering PC had a uh, 1 in 81 into a 1 in 127. What's quads? 1 in 12.96. 12.96, thanks. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that's that's really saying something if we're like, Jesus, Elliot's dice are terrible. <laughs> yeah. Terrible <laughs> dice. This is yeah. uh, <coughs> low, low level blue ball, clearly. Oh. Mm -hmm. I just, I've just looked at Elliot's channel and Dimmy G's message deleted by a moderator. <laughs> 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 Brilliant. <laughs> Who would have thought? But yeah, it's yeah. looking real bad for Elliot now. Yes, this is a, ones, you peanut. an absolute kind of force of mental strength, you know, because you try to do things and 
It's not only that they don't work, it's they fail in the most spectacular way. Yeah. 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 He'll get through it. It's AST He'll be game. fine. It's I mean, can I go he'll back? Play, he'll play to the best of his ability. He'll give himself grief after the game. He'll freak out yeah. afterwards. Yes. But for the time yeah. being, he'll keep himself in it. <laughs> I mean, he does tilt, though. He, he, like, Elliot definitely does tilt, so... Mm -hmm. Mainly if the people say hello to him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to engage in normal, civilized conversation. What am I? What am I, a human? Why are you being so fucking obsessed with rats that you're about to go on holiday? Game. And, right? Like, you can't Elliot Johnson. Elliot Johnson. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. The at the end of his the exclamation point, rats is so good. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kills me every time. Well. Okay. So what do we got? We got to get Cheney free, right? Uh, can make a box for the Blitz to yeah, Blitz him out so that it Cheney can get out and over. And there's also this guy that you'd like out. Yeah. Get him through, you could blitz him through. Mm -hmm. And you want to get this guy, rel you know, this guy is, wants to be back in the game. Yeah, he does, doesn't he? <sighs> so it's it's all it's all a quandary. So if he takes the hit with Cheney first on the left hand guy, he can free up the. Um... Oh no, that guy stood up. Cool, nothing. <laughs> Hello, Timmy. <laughs> as I said, as I said, is the power play of Elliot. When Elliot needs you know to get good rolls so or a good result, banning a sacrificing a Timmy. Yep. <laughs> it's not going well. No, no, it's, it's not. Pretty brutal. What did you say? Did you arrive and ask how it was going? Because <laughs> I mean, you should know better. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Quad one, sorry, mate. <laughs> Band. Band. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking hilarious. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, does he GFI? Yep, yep. I mean, you won't really want to GFI there. I'd even gone one further back to get in my own half. Like, I think he needs men back, doesn't he? To, to do something here. Well, he still has the blitz. So is he going to blitz Cheney through? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, look for a push into a pal. Oh, there's push the guy on the pal. floor as well, isn't there? There's, there's the guy there on the is, floor. There is, yeah. Push. Oh, That's, uh... Because you didn't follow with the initial uh, vampire. So, um... So he's blitzing the stand firm. And not able to get through. It's not a blitz either. Guess the KO. There you go. HDK. Get wrecked, wow. HDK. Yeah, blitz and Hopeful pushes into power. I guess he's going to blitz with this one. Yeah. A 1D on the stand firm, that seems. Or, or dodge 2D. Or just dodge 2D, yeah. So 3 plus into the 2D. And then get back somewhere relevant. It's a bit shit. Mm. Yeah, I wonder if the Cheney Blitz was the best. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you hope for the push into power, and then we, if, if you just power, you could just plus. dodge and get back to the middle, right? It's been really pretty sick. Yes. Imagine getting banned by Elliot for saying it's not over. <laughs> Don't say it's over! <laughs> and he goes for this. Three plus fails. Kills himself. Oh, oh Jesus. Oh, this is... Painful to watch. Oh, yep. God. Poor, Poor Elliot. Elliot. Yeah. <laughs> he is going to have a crack with this vampire still, like the vampire. Yeah. You know, he can reach here, can't he? 
We sure can. Except no double GFIs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I know the AE5, you know, can do magic. Yeah, he does want to get it to the Agility 4, probably not this turn, but the next. And the thing is, the thing is with Elliot, it's like, it's pretty desperate, isn't it? So he is trying, he is trying to do things that are a bit worse with a higher payoff. Because he's against it. That Apod? Oh no, he used his Apod. Oh, yeah, he used his Apod like turn leader. one. <laughs> yeah, he did. Apod failed. Yeah, failed on the Apod, yeah. Yep. The leader, yeah. I don't think he can score this turn because Elliot could two turn, but he might score next turn. I think he'll get. I yeah. think he'll get the the dwarf in range. I think he'll get this runner in range, so he can two plus hand off to him next turn. Mhm. Mm but maybe he won't because he's already activated a lot of players. Maybe he can't afford him now. Maybe he can't afford this guy to move forward. Yeah, he probably can't afford him moving forward. He's just got to pack everyone around the ball. Well, he can base the wrestle with the rookie dwarf. Jimmy G there in the middle can uh, go up to the left. I think he has to come back. I think I think this guy has to come back to here, or yeah. here, and then these two back here, and then just he's got lots of people around the ball to stop the super wamp coming in and fucking him. But he's only got one. He's just got the super vamp and chaining, and he might not even have chaining. I still think he's going to do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is so upset. Yeah, PZ always says he's massive underdog, doesn't he? Uh, I don't think he was underdog this game. It because Elliot was always going to have to roll dice to like get things done with his mm -hmm. with his super I, mean, I, I think it was uh, uh, clear that Elliot was the underdog. Uh, 100%, he, uh, his, yeah. his team was one player. Yeah, he was underdog, but with like a very very realistic high roll. Like that's yep. the thing, wasn't it? It was like it, it, a bit like a bit like Luminous versus Devo, right? You know, like he, he had that worked out for him that initial push. He suddenly wins, but he he kind of had to do something like that because he was probably behind overall. Um, well, he certainly he felt like he had to do that. Um, yeah, yeah. It. I think there was a plenty of opportunities for for him to get back in the game later, but it didn't. I don't, he just didn't really take the chances, I think, which is a bit of a shame. But um, yes, it, it, Elliot is in this game definitely going to have to roll a lot of dice, and um, uh, they didn't work. <laughs> yeah. Is the long and short of it? Yep. He rolled all of the dice, for fuck's sake, God. and they just didn't work. Elliot should have got uh, should have got uh, random boy to play this game for him. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> random boy, random boy rolls bloodlusts about once in every hundred rolls. <laughs> yep, yeah, random boy was a master of high rolling uh, with vampire. <laughs> this is the biggest upset since I ate that funny smelling chicken. <laughs> it was a great match. Uh, it was a great match, McCoy in '74. You should, you should watch it. Um, but spoilers, shut your ears if you don't want to hear the result of that <laughs> match. Um, Dave or did win. Hey. So it gets the main scoring threat down. Ooh. Nope. Yep, so there won't nice. be a touchdown this turn. And he's got his, no. he's got Super Vamp back to try mm. and make a play on the ball next turn. Which is about big, all he big, can do. Big three plus from Cheney. Cool be enough. Yeah. Cool be enough because now that the dwarf has to run a lot of squares. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, the David match is, is a great watch for sure. Oh, he's rolled up too. Yep, puts in a re-roll. Yep. Yeah, he kind of had to, didn't he? Mm -hmm. No, he didn't have to. But no, no, he needs a... Uh, Chaining around. He needs all uh, his pieces. And yes, uh, Devo is a classic uh, roller coaster because there is ups and downs. You Not know, like this game that is like going to the abyss. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is downs and downs, isn't it? Holy this is downs shit. and downs. <laughs> It's been absolutely brutal. Like the only thing that like gave Elliot a chance was PC just rolling worse for a few turns. Yep. <laughs> yep. PC rolling even worse. There were no ups. It was just, it was just helter skelter. This has been a helter skelter this match. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the Luminous Devo game was one that I would never uh, like to play, but this is now probably one of my top games to never play. <laughs> oh wow. Oh. Oh shit my dice. god! See, this is the thing. Just like there hasn't been any ups. It's just been literally. <laughs> this is literally PCs just been rolling worse to make it interesting. Have <laughs> a bingo lined up for the end of the game. 
<laughs> oh, God. oh, don't do it if he loses. <laughs> don't do it if Elliot loses. He'll, he'll be too mean. That's a perm. That's perma ban. Yeah, yeah. That that'll take a lot to uh, make him happy. Didn't um, tag Cheney. Presume he's. Oh, it's because he's bringing the other stand firm through. Onto him. Yeah, yeah. This guy can tag Cheney. Mhm. Mm and then this guy can like double GFI. Yeah, probably double chair for me. Yeah. And you might even dodge this guy as well. Yeah. Mm. He's brought the other guy into on the, the strength five, so it would appear he's um. Oh yeah, he's gone for the. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, and then you can get him to there. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm pretty good. Yeah, PC is pretty good, isn't he? I mean, still, it's still what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. See, that's why I would have kept my reroll. But I guess if you don't have Cheney, then this is even more. Yeah. This is even worse for you. Mm -hmm. I guess Cheney can hit. Cheney can. Oh wow, Cheney can hit, can't he? And uh, and free up him. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just no. Oh, yeah. Well, so it's an easy hit on the ball. But. He really needed a reroll. He just needed one more reroll early up this game. But Cheney can just immediately get two dice on him, right? Well, if ish. he hits with a vampire and gets a pow, yeah. and then Cheney's free, then Cheney can go and uh, yes, get the two D. Two D into an uphill. Into yep. uphill, but just pushing him two squares back could be enough. Yeah, yeah. he could surf him. Yeah, he could. He could just six plus in uphill surf him. There you go. I think I think probably the better play is to hit him twice, mm. and uh, power. So then you've got like two seventy five percent chances of getting rid of him. Then you've got yep. one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Or oh, seven from the top, yeah. But he's you've got an uphill. You're still uphills in uphills. But yeah, you don't need the six plus dodge. Yeah. One, oh wow. Two, three. Wow, he's getting play now. Oh, yeah, God, and that. failed as well, yeah. So, yeah, maybe he's going to uphill surf him. Oh, he is. He's going for the uphill yeah. surf. He gets the push. Oh, wow. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, oh. dice. Oh, so close. The Can I score? Still a double GFI, right? Yeah. Gaze, Gaze was a three plus, whereas Powering him was fifty five. So Gaze was sixty. Well, Gaze was not a two. It was a three plus, yeah, because he got an assist. Yeah. So it was the Gaze was a sixty six percent, and the power was a fifty five percent. Yep, double GFI. Hmm. Which is, you know, a Tuesday for a PC. Yeah. Man rolls some GFI. <laughs> this, will be, this will be the time we see a PC failing a GFI for the first time in history. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've seen him play orcs, and uh, the the power of uh, black orcs taking GFIs uh, trumped uh, PC making his uh, GFIs. Mean, there are limits for God's yeah, sake. Exactly. There are limits. When black orcs fail GFIs, it's what they're known for. I think he could have GFI'd with this thrall to assert to cancel one of the assists. And it might have had to be named. Maybe he couldn't. I don't know if the other guy was here. He couldn't. Because because Cheney was in the way of them getting through to to help. Because this guy's here, so no, I'm, I'm pretty sure he couldn't. I'm pretty sure he couldn't cancel. Because I'm pretty. I mean, if it was a GFI, he would have done it. where do we go? Well, there you go. There you go. Wowie. So, sad times in the north, and uh, the south goes wild. Yes, PC managed again to score with his uh, elf uh, catcher. Movement mm -hmm. eight. There you go. <laughs> yeah. It's like he was playing with his eyes closed. <laughs> hey. GFIs are just free movements for PC. Yeah, so a bit sad, isn't it? For like, you know, obviously nothing against PC whatsoever, but like, I think everybody was rooting for vampires versus dwarves. <laughs> yeah. So it's been a fucking MVP as well. 
Yeah. yeah. Oh wow, MVP because he just got he just got <laughs> killed on like turn two. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here comes PC. Congratulations, PC. Yeah, Very congratulations, PC. Yep. Yeah. Hello and congrats. Um, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it was what a strange a game. game, wasn't it? <laughs> Can we see the, sta the statistics? Uh, the match, so, uh, just to see the that, no, the dice rolls. Yeah, that was that was something. Twenty-eight, yeah. twenty-eight, twenty. Not that, not that bad actually. But there were quad skulls and a one in nine into double skulls, wasn't there? <laughs> I I seem to recall that happening. Yes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'd say you do. Yeah, we yeah. Had just, we had I just was there for that. that. We just commented on how um, the dice seemed to not be working out very well, and uh, then you immediately started your turn with a quad skull, and we were like, well, okay. <laughs> yeah. Although, you know, I had all the dice, didn't I? All sorts of dice. There was, I mean, it was... Because it then was... my blodger decided that doesn't matter what you do, he's not going down. Yes. Yeah, true, yeah. true, yeah. But but again, that was just Elliot's dice. There were, there were no good dice, you know. We had we had no. a roller coaster the other day. This was just a helter skelter. It was just <laughs> it was just his dice were bad, your dice are worse. Oh, then he can't power anybody. <laughs> He'll just bloodlust everything. I guess you did make the four plus three plus. That was the good dice you got. I did make the four plus three two two to get the ball away to get the touchdown done. You yeah. did. Yeah, Without mostly. which, we'd probably be in overtime. <laughs> mostly, it was just horrendous rolling by both sides. <laughs> oh, wasn't it just? <laughs> it was just insane. Um, well, I, you know, he who can keep his head while all around them is losing theirs. I, I, I flatter myself I don't panic. Mm. You know, if it goes wrong, it goes wrong. You, you look at the next turn and you think, right, what's available this turn? Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> The turn I started with the quads, obviously there's two or three things I meant to do right after that block had freed up the guy I was freeing up. For sure. But I could actually have done beforehand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was, uh, I suppose, the closest to tilt I get. That was after the, you know, one in nine into the dub skull. Yes. And I thought, brilliant, I see how I sort this out. And instead of doing the safe moves first, like I would tell anyone to do, I didn't. I did one of the slightly risky moves first. By which I mean that, you know, one in every thousand and eighty-six times <laughs> exactly. didn't go wrong. Yes, 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 um, yes. But this was the one in a thousand and eighty-six times. So oh, well. I should have moved the two guys around the ball that were going there because they were just moving. Um, you know, it, it, there was three or four things I should have done before that. Yep, but yeah, what thing, a yeah. what a game! I mean, I, I don't know how you stop that strength five vampire except when he's over one side of the pitch, try and be over the other. Yeah, yes. and wait for him to just roll another one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, luckily Elliot did roll some very bad dice. Yeah, they were appalling. They were actually yeah, yeah they were I mean, just really appalling. bad, really really mm -hmm. bad, like super bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So again, all I had to do really was just sort of exist and, yeah. and hope that mine was slightly less bad, which eventually they were. Well, it, well, it was it was the craziest of things because I, I said in commentary that like you know we were, we were saying like Jesus, Elliot's dice have been absolutely terrible, and poor Elliot and all this, and yeah. reminding the the audience that we had in fact seen you roll like a one in eighty one into a into a one in one two. What is it? Twelve nine six. Twelve nine six. Yeah. yeah just incredible and for i mean it, it, we'd want to be saying something if we were going poor elliot after you had rolled those so <laughs> yeah it was uh it was yeah like like uh, uh jim said not yes. a roller coaster but a helter skelter yes Hammers, it's is. just it was a you know i'm fine it i've played games like that before but it was an experience wasn't it that was that was yes. a thing that happened and i can't say it didn't make my heart beat at times because it did <laughs> but that's why we play this sort of blood bowl is because it's fun to do yes yeah and yeah. surviving through something like that is, you know, it's in some ways enjoyable, I guess. Or you've <laughs> at least you've conquered it. You've come out the other end of it. And you're, you're not dead. So, you know, that's a good thing. Yeah, no, well done. Um, great fortitude uh, to have gone through it. Uh, provided us with plenty of entertainment. Uh, and so poor Elliot, because, you know, he just nothing he did worked, did it? Everything he touched turned to shit. It was absolutely appalling, yeah. The poor fella. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. He was the one that had to roll the dice, didn't he? That was the thing, you know. Like your your yes. dice rolls a block, two dice blocks, and uh, not. Yeah, you'd enough. have thought so, Jim. They they weren't as reliable as I'd hoped. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But like he still had to do the things after that, right? Even after the quad skills, yeah. he still had to make the decision: does he go for the hit with the vamp or the hit with the uh, hit with Cheney and stuff and things like that? And, yeah. yeah, luckily Cheney wasn't particularly good today, was he? No, he was I managed to control him a couple of times, but even when he was loose, he wasn't that much of a danger, which was nice. Mm. Um, he he got nearly himself. got the oh, nearly got the surf. 
Did yeah, he, he did. Yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. I, I thought. I mean, I knew he'd come for me, obviously, that way. Mm -hmm. um, and my hope was really that the blitzer was my main scoring threat, not necessarily the runner with the ball. I didn't see a way not to get sacked and get into a decent position. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was, but it, it, it required rolling so many dice after I'd already used the reroll yeah. that I had to pick a less safe position and look at ways to recover if it went wrong. And I figured that Elliot usually is less rowdy in the chalice than he is in, in CCL. And I figured he'd come in from the wing um, rather than off the, the red dice. Yeah. So I figured he'd come in with two dice uh, into red dice rather than red dice into red dice. Yes, yeah, so looking for that. the surf. Um, at which point, you know, Norman's no matter where he knocks me down, I've got an agility four there, I've got the blodge piece there, um, and I've got that blitz at a handoff too. So it doesn't look that difficult to me to still get it done. Mm -hmm. um, but coming in off the with the two reds, I thought was better because if it surfs it, there's a chance it's just not somewhere I can get to. Yeah. So I thought that was a really ballsy play. It didn't work, unluckily for him. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, really good play. No, that's interesting, Jim. So my trap would have worked for you. You'd have come in off the wing for the two dice, would you? Well, I might, I might have even gone for the vampire hit, but then the vampire yeah. is a six. But then you've got a strength five blood stepper in there, haven't you? Which is really yeah. nice. So I'm, yeah. I think I might have gone for Cheney hitting the stand firm and then coming in with the uh, with the vampire. Yeah, think the way but I might have gone. you can't stop that vampire, can you? No, it's very if it comes to me, it comes to me. I mean, I tried to knock it over that turn, but you know. <laughs> Luckily for you, he knocked himself over a few times. <laughs> he did. He did. He was. He was super terrible, as was everything Eliot did. So rather than this being Eliot's time, I guess it's very much not Eliot's time. But maybe it's Davos. Mm, yes. Or They're I both so overdue. I but I has got the team, hasn't he? Yes, he has. He has yeah. definitely got the team. But, but you know, you, of the five you, remaining teams, you'd want his one. Well, yes. for uh, for an elf coach uh, playing dwarfs and out of your comfort zone, and uh, you have, uh, I mean, certainly by your own uh, estimation, been the underdog uh, for all of the rounds so far. Every, every, I can't really claim against the flings I was the underdog. Okay. <laughs> Think in that one, I was very firmly a favourite. Yeah, no, that's, that's fair enough. Yeah, poor old Agrelius shaking his um, head. And against the vamps, head. I thought it was probably slightly advantage me. I mean, vamps are a good counter to dwarves, but not those vamps. Even yeah. with Cheney, you know, I had enough that he was always going to have some trouble, wasn't he? Yeah, 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 this is it. I mean, if it was if it was Nick's vamps, you'd have been in trouble, but yeah. it wasn't. Yeah, no. Um, the next one, I'm definitely the underdog. I mean, look, that, that Chaos Dwarf. I said to Elliot before we started, you know, congratulations, whichever of us wins has the <laughs> honour of losing to Ira Vell's Chaos Dwarves. <laughs> uh, uh, Elliot hinted he had a plan. Well, I bloody don't. So <laughs> if he's got any ideas, feel free to jot them on a note and send them over to me. Just, just yeah. dice him, isn't it? I mean, that is the plan. Is yeah. the plan for that one. Yeah, it's plan A. Be luckier than the other guy. Yeah, it's, well, all, it it's also today. plan B for this one. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I don't really have any other options. Um, I mean, those. I mean, I can deal. To be honest, I can deal with the chaffs, and I can probably deal with the hobgobs. Um, it's the bulls, isn't it? What, what can I do about strength five bulls? Strength five large bull. I know. I know. Absolutely beautiful. And the other one's pretty damn good. I'm not sure I can deal with the other yes. one. How I deal with the strength five. Oh, um, Rage Poo is asking if we can see the opponent, please, Jimmy. Yes, well, what I'll do is I'll end the stream and uh, I'll, I'll, just, I'll end the YouTube video. So thank you very much, Kalon Fymir, for doing the commentary. Absolutely glorious as always. Pleasure to be here. It's always a pleasure to be here. And another big hello to our viewers from Equatorial Guinea. <laughs> yeah. And oh, Equatorial Guinea. Oh, lovely yeah. place. This, this, yeah. this, this. We're in a role of countries that we see. Uh, better not talk too much about them. I'm aware. I'm, I don't. I think the less said about your backing of Belarus and Putin's illegal war, the better. Frankly, for me. I'm glad you've moved on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks for this, PC. No, no. <laughs> and, and congratulations, PC. Commiserations, Thank Elliot. You. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.